because you're, you're, you know, in your 20s, right? Yeah, early so, 20s. So you, yeah, early 20s. That's great. Thing. Just started. Just, just started, started my 20s. Yeah, just started in your 20s. Yeah. But you've got a, you know, you grew up yes. recently, and so you've been around. You know, you've seen the scene out there now. Do you think that now kids have a tougher time with drugs and alcohol, or they have a tougher time 25 years ago? Well, I think. Of course they have a tougher time now because any sort of information you'd want to find out about anything you can kind of just find out by going on the computer. Everyone's friends are doing things now and, and like we were talking about earlier, it seems like the way that they're learning is happening at a lot younger of an age. I mean like I even talk to kids now about general life things that are 13 and they know way more than I did when I was 13. It's right. scary about everything. So if they know everything about you know life then of course then they're knowing a lot about drugs and alcohol right now. And, I think it's a lot worse than it was. I, my dad talks about it when he was a kid, you know, what it was like, and it was a completely different time. Right, more and, hidden. Yeah, well, more hidden, and also, and maybe it wasn't as, as bad then. It almost seems like it's a lot worse now, and, or at least more in the open. In, in, in your opinion, what should we do with the children? We have Patches Pajamas out here today, and we're educating the kids, and you're going to do a reading. But what would you think would be the number one thing to do with these children today to get them to not do drugs and alcohol? Well, we were talking about education is number one, I think. Also, it's kind of interesting the idea of maybe putting a subliminal good idea in a book or something like that, because it seems like nowadays there's all these subliminal ideas in magazines and stuff, maybe things that aren't good for our youth. Right. Video games and, and extremely graphic you know, movies and stuff like that. And believe me, I enjoy my rated R movie every right. once in a while, but I'm also an adult. So there's a big difference. I think the most important thing is education and teaching the kids about real life. Cool. Things that happen in real life. Well, I, you know, I've listened to some of the music. Uh, being that I'm older, I'm not. You know, I, I, you know, I wasn't born a fan, but I have since I, you know, since I've researched yeah. you on the internet, and I noticed that your music isn't it isn't drug involved at all. It's, it's it, almost it, it's, nothing but positivity. Positivity, and so maybe we should write a song to help the kids. I think we should. After I think we should. I love right. writing, so we'll do it. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.